So now we've got everything set up and we've made sure everything's running correctly. Let's have a look at our source project. Let's have a look at all the files and folders and, and discuss what's inside them. So I mentioned before, we have the data folder here, and this is where we store our uh, API server, or the data for our API server. We've got the original database. So this is always gonna be the full database here. And then db.json is the current version of the database. So if you have, in fact, to edit some details about an individual, this will be saved in db.json, or for you to delete some information about a person, then that would be updated in db.json. But every time you run npm run server, it will overwrite db.json with original, and that means you'll always be able to get back to an original state of the database. It's just to help out with development. Then you can also see we've got a readme which has some information about the project itself. We've got package JSON, which contains all the dependent NPM modules which we're using. So right now we're using Bower, JSON server, which is the server to serve out our JSON database. And we're using a package called serve, which lets us serve a current a folder and uh, serve it through the port 5000. And we, then we have Bower.json, which is the previous package the old package management solution we're using with our application, and it has its own dependencies which we can install. So it's installing Angular, Angular Animate, etc. So this is doing pretty much similar stuff to npm install, but it's just an older package management system. And as we're migrating from Angular JS to Angular, we're also going to migrate away from Bower over to uh, npm as well. Then we have some configuration files here which we won't go into, but I'm going to dig into the source folder now. So we've got our index.html. This is our index.html for our application. You can see I'm including some CSS files at the top and all the JavaScript files at the bottom. And then we are using some directives and we're using UI router as well in our application. And you can see I'm bootstrapping at the top with an ng app directive. If you look in templates, this is, this is where you'll find all the HTML templates which we're using in our various directives and components. Libs is the folder which we installed all of the dependent libraries using Bower. We installed it in a libs folder here. Then we have image, which is just our, our default avatar image, our CSS here. So we're using uh, uh, SAS, but it's already compiled into a CSS file here. And then our actual application logic goes in app, and you can see we've got a couple of files here. We've got app.main.js, which is our main, uh, let me just get some room here, which is our main Angular application, which is bootstrapping everything, bootstrapping our Angular module. Then we've got our root, which is our UI router routing logic. Okay, so depending on which URL we visit, it will instantiate certain controls with, with certain templates. And then we have a few separate files. We have one for all of our controllers in our application, all of our directives, all of our filters, and all of our services.